I've always been enamored with strongman, but in particular, I've loved the old timey strongman. And that's what drew me to people like Jordan Biggie and Carl Hensel, because they always talk about old time strongman feats. The really cool thing about those old timey strongmen is that they weren't massive people. They were people that, like if you look at Sandow or Saxon, they were people that kind of just looked like regular people in normal clothes and then if they ripped those clothes off, that's when you'd see their muscles and they'd be bursting. So they, they weren't these giants, they were just re like normal people that when they were working out, that's when they looked uh, amazing. That's when they looked huge and bigger than life. But the cool thing about them is that even though they, they were, might have been slightly smaller, they actually did big feats. So last night I watched a documentary on Saxon, the great Saxon, uh, the person that the Saxon bar is named after. And one of the things he was most famous for was the bent press. So the bent press was uh, a movement where you take the bar from the ground to your shoulders and then once it's on your shoulders, instead of doing like a regular strip press, you'd actually lean over and then press the bar up like that and then finish by standing up. And people that did it well could press enormous amounts of weight. And the most famous of those people was obviously Saxon. So this is a feat that I'm going to try and recreate today. A lot of people do this movement with dumbbells and kettlebells and it's a lot safer and uh, actually probably has some merits doing it that way in fitness and in strength and in, you know shoulder health but I'm gonna do it with a barbell mainly because I'm just trying to recreate a feat. Now I'm not gonna be able to get anywhere near the amount of weight that uh, people of old did. I'm mainly just doing this for fun because I'm in quarantine. My biggest fears are stabilizing, uh, whether my roof is actually high enough to uh, compensate for the bar swing, as well as whether my clips will actually hold the weights on the bar properly. So I'll let you guys see how I warm up and how I go. I've seen this performed a couple of different ways. And the cool thing that I've seen is some people do it a lot more powerfully and athletically, and then other people use sort of brute strength. Now I'm gonna to play to my weightlifting background and try like a mixture of both, but I'll just show you what the difference is right now. And like, I'm not an expert, I'm not showing you guys how to do this, I'm just experimenting myself. So they would take it up, if they're gonna do it the explosive way, sort of clean it up like this, come up, and then once they're here, then they would hitch the hip, so hip back, and from there, look up, and as they look up, rotate, click press. So that's the explosive way, that's the way I'm gonna try and do it. The other way is like a sort of hitching motion, or like a, just a big swing to get the bar up, still get into this position, or even a stein board up, so they'll, you know, get the bar, squat it up onto one side, get it here, then they'll hitch the hip, get all the way down, to this position and then try to press and stand it up.
not going anywhere. Thought it might be too big a jump. No. Damn it. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, so I figured it out. We want you want the bar to be facing that way, not that way, because then if it's there, all you have to do is lean and press. The problem is I'm not strong enough or flexible enough to get into this position well. Here. Right. I'm gonna have one more go at this way. If not, I'm gonna call it. I definitely feel like I'm starting to work it out. But I have no idea how people would be able to lift like 150 kilos this way. It seems impossible. Alright, that's 35, and I think that's my limit. I don't even know if that was any good. 